Hey guys, we're at the 2012 SEMA show here in Las Vegas. And we know that some of you guys that have manuals are kind of jealous of the guys that have the automatics and the flappy paddles. But what if I told you that there is some guys over here at the SEMA show they were able to bring that to you guys with the manuals. Well, I'm here with Luis with Master Shift, and he's gonna show you how you can get that with still having a manual transmission. Luis, let's, let's make some magic happen. Okay, what we have here is we have basically the T56 and also the 6060, which normally the shifter goes on top of the torque tube. What we do is we eliminate the shifter in the vehicle completely. We basically allow the shifts to be done through the steering wheel. So basically, you still use the clutch, but the clutch activates the shift. I will show you right now, we're in first gear. You pull the paddle, you step on the clutch. This is just simulating the clutch switch. We pull the paddle again, we're in third. We paddle, third, fourth, fifth. Now we come to a hard corner. We're gonna downshift twice, one, two and we stab the clutch again. It comes out in fourth gear. It bypasses the fifth gear location. We also have an over rev feature. So basically, if, if you are gonna go to the wrong gear, let's say I had to push the paddle three times, based on speed, you pre-program the proper gear that it goes to. So if, we're, if I would have pushed it four times, it would have wanted to go to second. We're gonna still put it in the proper gear, so that's all based on programming. We also have a potentiometer that goes on the clutch pedal, and what that does is that doesn't start the shift until the clutch is fully disengaged and ready for the shift. Okay. So if you happen to bump the paddle, it's not gonna shift. Yeah. But now as I activate the clutch, it will shift. What we've done there is let's say you got excited and you pulled your foot off of the clutch pedal before the shift was completed. Well, what we do is we have a clutch hold feature that goes on the hydraulics between the clutch master cylinder and the bell housing area. So what we do is we hold the line pressure until the shift is completed. Once the shift is completed, we dump the clutch back. So it basically holds, it makes you a better driver. Our timing on the shifts is roughly about 250 to 300 milliseconds on each shift. That is fast. What we've also done is we've designed it to work with the automatic came out with paddles. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is we use our one wire technology and we run, send digital signals down the horn wire for your shift commands. So you can still keep your, your airbag. We also have it set up if you don't have an airbag, we have it set up for Momo or Grant. We have billet shifters. We also have a bump shifter. So basically, you can sequentially shift it. I'm gonna go down two, so you can sequentially shift it. That's for the guys that want to still keep the feel of having the stick shift in the car. Yeah, some of us still want to be able to like feel like we're actually connected to the car. And we yeah. have done it both where you can do it with the paddles and the bump shifter in conjunction. So if you feel like grabbing a gear this way, you yeah. can. And the nice part about this is we have done all this development with Pratt Miller, the Corvette race team. Who better to work with than, right. than the Pratt Miller boys there? And we've been working with Mike Atkins. We've done, we've actually got our unit in their, uh, their engineer's car, his personal car. And we've been pretty much prototyping with them and we also d uh, work with them also on the new Magnum T56. Sweet. Hey, man, I tell you what, if you ever want to come to SEMA and you want to see, in my opinion, probably the most radical and most awesome thing here when it comes to technology and the fun and hooning factor, uh, MasterShift is pretty hard to beat. So on behalf of Performance Driving Network and SEMA, hope you enjoyed.